Rocket Power. Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Rocket Power games for the GBA. Rocket Power Beach Bandits and Dream Scheme are interesting games. At first, they look like the usual side-scroller platformer, but even if essentially they are, at the same time the games feel different from the stereotype formula, by the fact that you use skateboards and rollerblades with which you can travel faster and grind on rails. And this makes the gameplay stand out, it feels different, even if the gameplay mechanics are the usual. You can also unlock pogo sticks or hockey sticks, you can shoot your water gun, but as for the controls they are too slippery and many won't like that. The most annoying aspect in both games is the backtracking. Each stage is divided into two or three segments. Between each segment there is a gate. You have to collect stars in order to unlock gates. Some areas of the levels are blocked off by doors which need to be opened by stepping on switches or finding keys, also occasionally there are boss battles. But don't worry, even if backtracking might happen, puzzles are easy to figure out. You'll get unstuck fairly easily. Also if you were to choose, I recommend you to play Dream Scheme. It's overall a way better game. Both games are similar, but Beach Bandits is more poorly executed. Overall both are decent, but the sequel, Dr uh, Beach Bandits, feels like it just tries to imitate Dream Scheme, but in my opinion doesn't reach the same fun factor. Rocket Power Zero Gravity Zone tries to imitate Tony Hawk but feels even more of a cheap copy than the difference between Beach Bandits and Dream Scheme. The story is pretty much non-existent. You play with the same four characters and is, as in the previous game and what you will do is completing goals like collecting letters to spell out certain words, gathering items or getting a high score all before the timer runs out. Basically Tony Hawk stuff. But even if the tasks are the same, the gameplay isn't as fun as in Tony Hawk. In a game where you have to make huge combos, it's frustrating to see that you bump into invisible walls or that you don't get reverts like in Tony Hawk to chain combos easier. And the controls are also too sensitive, which makes you spin too easily. Overall, all three games are okay. They are decent. They don't amaze, nor are bad games, but for me they are just okay and decent at best. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.